and everybody is set for this matchup between the New York Jets and the New York Giants here at MetLife Stadium. Well, you know, I hated it as a player. I just hated it. You know why? Because if you win, that's great. But if you lose, you're going to hear it constantly from every Jet fan as you walk around New York City. So it does put a little, uh, a bigger spotlight. I guess you'd say even a little more pressure on you. And it just gets you excited to play the game of football. You know what makes this game always kind of special is the fact that you're playing in your home stadium. Now, one team's designated as a home team, the other's the away team, but it's still, it's your stadium in both cases. Yeah, and you know, you know, I, was, I couldn't tell the difference because it got moved no matter who the home team was every time I ran out during this game, but it, 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 it's a little surreal there because if you're the visitors in your stadium, you stand on the other sideline. So it's, and then when you throw a touchdown pass, you might hear boos or they're yelling at you because, oh, we're playing in the Jets, in front of the Jets home crowd. Play clock's running down, looking across the middle, and he gains maybe three. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Of course, the New York Giants won the Super Bowl last season, never would have believed it at a couple of points during the regular season, and they had the backs-to-the-wall kind of mentality from the last two weeks of the regular season all the way to taking the title in Indianapolis. All year long, I said the Giants are as good as anybody on paper in the NFL. And I thought, of course, everybody laughed at me. And they're 7-7, seven and seven, and I kind of jumped off the bandwagon and said, well, maybe I'm wrong. I live too close to them. They're, maybe they're just not that good. But they finally turned it around with a pass rush and just tremendously great passing at the right time by Eli Manning got it done. Third down after the sack. Oh, look at that. The defensive line shifted over to the left. Looking at every option. That ball is picked off. They bring him to the turf. Nothing worse than, as a quarterback to throw an interception early in the game. And you just kind of make sure you go over the, to the bench, you talk to yourself, keep your confidence up, and keep attacking. First down here. The give. Running to the left side for a gain of about five. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nothing fancy about that, but it's a good run. Gets a first down. Now the offense has three more chances. 